Taylor Dynamometer proudly presents our Dyne Control 2 towing dynamometer control software. With its clean design and intuitive interface, Dyne Control 2 gives the operator touchscreen control and data information at a glance. This is a short video demonstration of only the basic operations of Dyne Control 2 software. Please contact the Taylor Dynamometer Sales Department to arrange a full demonstration or to request a software operational manual. The home screen is strategically designed using bold, high contrast text and large touch points located in easy to reach locations. Most of the touch point buttons are located around the perimeter of the screen, keeping the center free for critical information. Let's take a quick look around the screen. First is the large stop button, which is easy to see and reach. One push of the stop button immediately releases the load and ends the test. Continuing around the screen are the four basic control functions, the Wi-Fi Connect button, Dyno Function Screen, Scope, Home Screen, Data Record button, Data View Screen, Manual Zero button, S Screen Toggle buttons, and finally the Manual Load Increment buttons and slider. The S Screen, located in the lower portion of the screen, is a multi-select information screen. By using the up or down arrows on the right side of the S screen, the operator can select between six different data screens. They include the Dyno Operation Information screen, Temperature Information screen, Basic Dyno Operational Controls, Speed and Time Scope, which is helpful for PID tuning, Data Recording screen, Driver's Trace and Heads Up Display screen. There are four basic control functions, Auto Speed, manual load, auto load, and hill simulation. Let's take a look at the first control function, auto speed. This is a closed loop control mode in which the dyno will control the speed of the dyno. The set point command is set to the desired vehicle speed and the dyno will add or remove load as required to maintain the commanded speed. To operate an auto speed, Simply select Auto Speed. Tap once in the Speed window to bring up the keypad. Select the desired speed set point and then select Enter. If you desire the dynamometer to maintain a set load, you can also tap once in the Load window to bring up the keypad, select the desired load, and then select Enter. Now let's take a look at Manual Load. Manual load is simply adding or subtracting load by using the up or down load arrows on the right side of the screen, or by tapping once in the load window and entering the desired load using the keypad. It is important to note that the up and down load arrows increase or decrease the load in percent amounts from 0 to 100%. This percent step size or step resolution can be changed in the load configurator as needed. Next is Auto Load. This is a closed loop control mode in which the dyno will control the drawbar pole placed on the test vehicle. The set point command is entered in drawbar pole units in either pounds force or newtons. To operate an auto load, simply select Auto Load. Tap once in the load window to bring up the keypad. Select the desired load set point and then select Enter. If you desire the dynamometer to maintain a set speed, you can also tap once in the speed window to bring up the keypad. Select the desired speed and then select enter. Note: It is easy to change between SAE and metric units simply by selecting the units selection tab in the drop down file menu. Finally is hill simulation. This simple application allows the operator to create a hill profile in Microsoft Excel based on speed, distance, and slope. The hill profile can be as long or as short as needed and saved for future and repeat uses. Once loaded into the hill simulation file, it can then easily be selected from the hill simulation profile menu. To load the hill profile, simply select Hill Sim from the main screen. Select the desired preloaded hill simulation profile. Select Edit to input vehicle specifics to modify the test if needed. In the Edit menu, it is possible to import saved hill profiles made in Microsoft Excel, 
change the test ramp steps, change control mode, change the recording resolution, change the action steps, change and or input the correct vehicle data. Next, select parameters to input the vehicle parameters such as vehicle weight, simulated weight, and so on. Note, the test parameter screen also allows the operator to input arrow numbers to increase accuracy as well as the option to input simulated trailer weight, thus simulating the weight of a larger trailer than is currently being towed within the capacity of the towing dynamometer being used. Select OK to load the parameters and then select Done. Then select Load to send the save test to the dynamometer. Tap on the Play icon located in the middle of the screen to begin the test. The test will start as soon as the operator reaches the Begin Test Speed specified in the Hill Test Profile. When the test speed is reached, Dyne Control 2 will automatically start recording data and the screen will show the current test step of the Hill Profile in progress. S Screen 6 displays the driver's trace and a heads up display, which will aid the driver to apply the proper amount of throttle to accomplish the test. A side note, there is also a pause button, which allows the operator to pause the test if needed during any part of the test. Once the test is completed, the operator will be alerted on the screen to name and save the data file before moving on to the next test. The saved data file can then be sent to Microsoft Excel to be analyzed as needed. During or after the test, the recorded data can be viewed by selecting the S screen 5. Dyne Control 2 Towing Dynamometer software is rich with many other features not included in this video. Contact Taylor Dynamometer Sales to learn more about Dyne Control 2 and how it can greatly benefit your testing needs.